Unrest tonight in Kabul as the Taliban signal a possible return to hardline rules about a month into the group's takeover of Afghanistan. We have blurred the body itself, but we do want to warn you this image is hard to look at. This is the image people woke up to this morning in the western city of Herat, a body hanging from a crane right in the middle of a city square. Taliban fighters brought at least four bodies into the city after two people were allegedly caught trying to kidnap someone. The gruesome killing comes not even 24 hours after one Taliban leader hinted at a return to harsh punishment and executions. In an interview, one of the Taliban's chief enforcers, Mullah Nouradine Turabi, was quoted as having said, quote, no one will tell us what our laws should be. We will follow Islam and we will make our laws on the Quran, adding that, quote, cutting off the hands is very necessary for security. When the Taliban first took over Afghanistan, they promised to respect human rights. News Nation's Michael Shore is live in Los Angeles tonight. And Michael, these images beg the question, is the new Taliban really any different from the regime we saw in the 90s? You know, uh, uh, to, to hear what the mullah said there, it makes you think absolutely not. Went on also to say, uh, Ruta Bay, that these uh, these sorts of public executions are, may not happen the way they did, but they are still going to be law and order there. Uh, and, and when you look at what happened in Herat and you look at that was a police killing, uh, there wasn't a trial for those people. They were executed and they were displayed. Uh, you are seeing a lot of the people that support the Taliban in Afghanistan uh, saying that this is the way it's going to be. This is just one of the voices, a Taliban commander, uh, talking about that in the city of Herat, where that horrible image came from. The aim of this action is to alert all criminals. They are not safe. And the, this idea of law and order uh, is not being taken lightly by the United States. Again, trying to play that careful game of not getting too involved, but certainly saying that they are not going to tolerate abuses of human rights. Here's Ned Price at the State Department this week. We condemn in the strongest terms uh, reports of reinstating amputations and executions of Afghans. The acts the Taliban are talking about here would constitute clear, gross abuses of human rights. Uh, and, and so, Ruta Bay, I mean, you're, you're seeing the American response talking about human rights, not talking about violations of any sort of international treaties, but talking about human rights. That seems to be the approach they've begun to take. So, Michael, what does this mean for the Taliban's quest for international legitimacy? Well, look, I, I think when you think about international legitimacy for the, the leaders of this country, you have to say that it's, uh, you know, trust but verified to go to the old cliche because these, this is who is running this country. The United States is saying they're not going to get involved in the politics there, but they are going to have to push to tamp down terrorism in Afghanistan. In order to do that, they're going to have to use uh, an alliance, a very tenuous alliance that they have with Pakistan. And Pakistan today uh, is saying that they're going to have to see more more response from the United States to not blame Pakistan for what happened in Afghanistan. Uh, so you're seeing a lot of back and forth. Both countries, though, are vital to keeping terrorism down there, and the Taliban is going to have to work with them to that end.